Hi guys, so welcome to the panel. To be on the screen, today is Friday. Alright, so as you guys, um, as you all know, um, today or this week, I've been doing the Omar at the ten dollar challenge. Anyway, some people close to me have been coming for me, so I'm calling off the challenge. Mm. I'm not really calling off the challenge. So that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are ten kg down and ten more kg to go. Yes, but for this week. We're gonna be seeing how possible it is to live on a low budget. So I'm gonna be challenging myself to live on $10 healthy diet budget. And I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna be giving you tips as well. So go with me, criticize me, my uh, my method, learn as well from me, pick up one or two things that can help you on your diet. We all wanna go cheaper. I know everybody wants to go for the best, for the less cost possible. So let's go. I'm gonna be showing you what I'm eating. Um, this week I'm just going from a keto diet, but this week I'm going to be going on a low carb diet as well. So let's see how this week pans, pans out. Wow! And this is just day one. And hi. So, all right, guys. Gonna change ten dollars. Change the money. I should spend two seventy point three from this. So. That's it. We're going to the mall class. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. All right, so welcome to Tuesday, and I think we're in the fourth week. Yeah. So um, just a little on the ten dollar challenge. Some people, their name starts with a T and ends with a Y. Uh, on my case, that the ten dollar challenge is not really legit. If I'm gonna eat free foods, if I'm gonna um have some leftover at home that I'm incorporating into my diet. So I just want to put it out there that it's $10 for just my shopping and groceries and of course with other helps that you can get from foods that you already have at home and also from things that will be gifted to you across the week. I do not expect you to not um, continue to enjoy the foods that you already have and of course if someone is going to dash you something or you can get someone to give you something then why not okay and also think of having to share also as well in your um, $10 the things that you have so it's good to give instead of um, receiving all right so this week um, I'm gonna be concentrating more on instructional videos I'm gonna be talking more on um, healthy eating and um, finances and how it surrounds it also I'm gonna be doing the all mad okay one meal a day and I'm gonna be giving information on how it goes so I'm um, just about it for this week and um, let's see how it rolls I'm gonna be showing you my gym time and all of those stuff so it's really important so um, that's the way it goes let's go all right guys so I actually ate salad today that I bought from <laughs> that I bought from the restaurant and then while I was at the restaurant, I had a call from someone who um, simultaneously shared Toby's point that if I'm on a healthy diet, or if I, no, not only if I'm on a healthy diet, if I say I'm doing a ten dollar challenge. But the question I want to ask everyone, and you should be the judge. I am trying to be a realist right here, in the sense that even if you have a budget for ten dollars. It also makes you avoid free food. 
or take opportunities when you need to take them. So, I don't know what else to say again. It's left for you to judge. $10 that comes from your pocket. That's what I'm saying. It's not easy. I laugh. $10 that comes from your pocket. In fact, you are a champion if you can spend $10 from your pocket and if you can get help from others. Why not? So, guys, I don't understand these things. Um, everybody can be the ultimate judge, but um, whatever it is, it means $10 from of course, my pocket. And then, if I can spend $10 and leave on $1,000 with help from other people, not to eat food, shop, why can't I? So I don't know. Let all uh, I don't know. Just do this judgment on the comment section. Anywho, after that rant, I am on my way to the gym today. Um, I'm going to the gym a bit later. Uh, had hangout this morning and then at I'll show you the food um, that I ate and then let's see how it will go. Eating before I gym before I eat for the day, but this one I had already rested and then um I'll be going to the gym. So let's see how it goes and let's see how it starts my weight for the food. So that's how it goes. Hey guys, so welcome to the I don't know. And I just want to leave Thursday, so I'll put it on the screen. Today I want Toby to come and tell everybody <laughs> what is his problem with my ten dollar challenge. So we come and talk. Okay. With the wait you come and say what's your problem? <laughs> it is not a ten dollar challenge. Why? <laughs> because it's ten dollars but you can eat anything as far as you're not gonna buy this. But that's the point. <laughs> it's like we say I am on a keto diet, but if someone gives me carbs, I'll no. eat it. <laughs> it's not exactly the same thing, Toby, leave here. See, people of God, it's not exactly the same thing. Toby is just mocking me on this diet. See, just because I said I'm on a $100 budget, it doesn't mean that somebody cannot dash me $20 or $10. So when I need, like today I need liver, I'm going to ask him to buy it for me. And then he remember remind me that I am on a ten dollar challenge, so I should keep myself because I cannot afford more than ten dollar for the week. So guys, what do you think? I'm not done, Toby. Have you ever been on? Have you ever been? Have you ever been on a budget before? Yes. Okay, when you're on a budget, if somebody gives you like money, but when you're on the budget, be a budget, not a challenge. A challenge means. It, it, it means I have to spend just that amount no, of money. No, I'm being real here. Yeah, yes, real I'm life. Being real too. No, <laughs> no, you're not being you're being unrealistic. This is real this is real life. This is a real event. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Stop trying to make me look like a thing. It's real life. In real life you <laughs> Anyways, I, I will answer you to think that Toby does not want to buy me the things that I've asked him. Okay, no, that's not true. He's buying me everything but I don't know why it's dissing me. It does not just want my my distance to shine, and it's threatening me that it will come and tell everybody that <laughs> that I did not. It is a ten dollar. I I even think that if you can even you know spend ten dollar and eat more than ten dollar, then you are you are a star, bro. You are a star, my sister. People should take classes from you on how to live on ten dollars. How, how to live on fifty dollars spending ten dollars. So we stop laughing at my challenge. It's a challenge. No matter what you say, <laughs> this ten dollar challenge is moving forward, and it is. I am going to do five gravies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I challenge you to shop by five gravies, and let me see if you can survive more than that five gravies. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who will buy food for you? <laughs> so we just see pass. I want I want everybody's honest like review on this thing. Like to be honest, what do you think? Are you on like? So be perspective or are you on my perspective? Not Israel anyways. I know Israel will always be on the other side <laughs> of the fence. Alright guys, so welcome to today. I don't know, I've lost count, but I think I don't know, but today's Friday, so welcome. Um I think I have to call off the challenge for two reasons. Um I think it'll be quite unfair because I'm going on a fast from today to that Sunday. Left for me. I still think it's part of the challenge because it's normal life, but you guys all know the people who come for me, they'll say, first of all, I didn't stick to the $10, which I think I did. 
and then um, infusing the three days fast that will be three days where I'm really not actually eating at all so um, maybe next week I will give you another challenge which is um, okay, I, like, I would love to keep it secret one of the challenges for next week but next week as well I will be talking about the benefits of fasting um, spiritually mentally for weight loss so but for this particular fast it's a spiritual fast so I, I may not be blogging um, anymore until Sunday I just show you my weight because um, this blog is not a spiritual blog and it's just a kind of um, go off the internet and just do some things that I have to really do. But um let me just close the vlog by just saying it's actually a possibility to eat healthy, it's just a meat that healthy eating is expensive. I think there is healthy um, eating expensive and there's healthy eating normal just like unhealthy eating can be expensive and can be normal. The problem is that most times we are just so accustomed to the produce that comes from unhealthy eating so we know where to find the cheap ones and we know um, the menu and so on that are really good for us. But when it comes to healthy eating because um, we're not used to it so we're more of the theatrical of healthy eating what we see online, right? Um, food that we have in our minds are healthy or good for us. But I think that over time, if you study and if you take our time to do your diligence research, you'll find out food that you um, can really find for lesser prices. You don't really have to eat what is recommended on YouTube, you know? Those people just show you sometimes. We just show you one of the foods. We don't eat all of those all the time. So I'm um, learning new recipe and sometimes why healthy eating is also um, difficult and quite a, quite expensive for people is that they go for um, I think I've said this, but I think in the sense I'm trying to say they go for log three dishes um, rather than just taking out time to find out the basic things. I'm not saying the same thing. I think it's not the same thing. I'm not really communicating it well. So um, yeah, what I'm trying to say, you have to spend time to find things that you like, create dishes yes, that are suitable for you. And then there's no bad food to be honest. Look for a diet that really works for you. What food can you eat and how does it impact you? You know, build your um, irresponsible relationship with some food and get them to a point where you can add them to your diet as well. Plan ahead for an LD diet, I think. Why it's a bit cheap is that you can just whoop up some things, but you have just one body. You have to be very careful on how you handle your body. So I think that's where it becomes expensive. Like if I'm just at home, I could just whoop up a pasta. If you're Nigerian, if you just have to just boil rice and eat the people. <laughs> so I think um, healthy eating may just be more stressful to be honest, because it means you have to be intentional about what you eat, what you buy, but at the end of the day, I just hope I've been able to prove to you that whatever means you have, um, you can actually eat healthy. You could, if you have, for example, um, let's say a dollar, where I, I live right now, a dollar is about 30 grams, so okay, let's just say 25, just to be safe. Instead of buying rice and making pasta and rice, you would actually go for a cucumber and tomato and egg, right? I don't even think 28 grams can, 25 grams can buy cucumber and that. But let's just see, 50 grams can do that and it can give you rice and pasta as well. So there's always a healthier option for the money that you have. The difference here is just your palate. So train your palate to like healthier products. So that's it for this week. Um, what's your argument? You think healthy eating is generally expensive more than just eating free stuff. What do you think? And what do you think about my $10 challenge? Do you think it was realistic or unrealistic? So um, that is for this week. Um, that's that. I want to show you my week on Sunday. And I'll be exercising, of course, during this day of fasting. Um, maybe next week I'll talk about that. So signing up. See you next week. Please like, share, subscribe, and, and watch all other videos. And I hope to see you next week for the next vlog. Bye. Let's go. No spider. It's not barking. Yeah, we started just.
Yeah, so <clears throat> Sunday. Um just gonna go for a very quick run today. It's the end of the week. Feel good actually. Really great. So next week challenge or this week's challenge is a secret. I think it's gonna be something interesting. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's over 10 kg now and we are halfway not in the journey but halfway in losing 20 kilograms so if you want to know how so stay glued and see you in the next video watch 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 the next content do that yeah thank you and bye